Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here and today I am going to discuss one of the very important concept digital sum with the help of that you will be able to solve the problems within seconds. So friends digital sum is nothing but sum of digit. Now friends I will try to solve this question and then I will explain you the concept. So what is the sum of this numbers? So now friends, so you can see 5 plus 4 is 9, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, so 11 will become 2. Then 6 plus 3 is 9, 10 plus 2 will become 12, 12 is nothing but 3. Then 5 plus 4 is 9 and 3, 3, 9, this will become 0. 7 plus 2 is 9, this will become 2 and then this will become 0. So 3 plus 4 is nothing but 7. So here we are getting digital sum is nothing but 7. Now which option is going to give you digital sum as 7? So friends let us start from the option D. So we can see here 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17 plus 1, 18 plus 7 is 25, 25 will be nothing but 7. So option D will be the correct answer. So friends with the help of digital sum we are really going to solve the problem in seconds. Now what are the concept involved in digital sum? So I am going to discuss the problems like how to calculate squares using digital sum, how to calculate the difference I mean the simplification problem using digital sum, then friends the complicated problems like this and then one of the problem from the percentage. So these five questions I will be discussing today with the help of digital sum. So friends digital sum that is nothing but sum of digit. So if I ask you to calculate the sum of digit or a digital sum what you have to do is you have to add all the digit here 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will become equal to 6 right okay now if you have 2 4 6 then 2 plus 4 will be 6 and 6 plus 6 will be 12 okay see first I added 2 plus 4 plus 6 which is nothing but 12 now friends so here we are getting two digit right two digit number so again we need to add it and we have to finally get the single digit okay now if I ask you to add 3, 4, 5, 6. So friends 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. And 12 plus 6 will be 18. 18 is nothing but 1 plus 8. Okay. It will be nothing but 9. So friends basically we have to add each digit. And then we have to find out the digital sum. And that should be in the single digit. Now friends so let us learn something new here. If I'll ask you to add 1, 2, then 1, 2, 9, then 1, 2, 9, 9, and then 1, 2, triple 9. So if I ask you to calculate digital sum, then 2 plus 1 will be 3. 9 plus 2 will be 11. 11 plus 1 will be 12. 12 will be again 3. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 2 will be 20. 20 plus 1 will be 21. That is 3. 9 3 is a 27 plus 3 30 30 will be again 3 so friends we see here if we add 9 or if we do not add 9 it is not impacting our digital sum so friends 9 does not have any importance in case of digital sum so anywhere if you are getting 9 9 will be equal to 0 or anywhere if you are adding it see here we have got sum as 9 9 is equal to 0. Now we do not have to add all those things here because 6 plus 3 will be 9, 5 plus 4 will be 9. So 9 if it is 9 then we will directly write sum as digital sum as 0 because 9 we are not going to consider here because if you are adding 9 also it's of no use. Right friends? Okay. Now keeping in mind all this concept we are going to solve the problem number one so that you will be having a better idea of how to solve this kind of problems okay so let me erase it off okay now so friends what you have to do you have to calculate the digital sum of the questions and then you have to calculate the digital sum of the options and whichever options matches with the digital sum of the question that will become your answer so let us calculate the digital sum of this. So first of all, we will try to search 9. I mean either by addition or by directly the digit. 5 plus 4 will be 9. 9 we are not going to add. Now, 7 plus 3 will be 10. 10 plus 1 will be 11. 
11 is nothing but 1 plus 1 so digital sum will be 2 okay then friends 6 plus 3 will be 9 so 9 will be equal to 0 now 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 12 is nothing but a digital sum will be 3 then friends you see 5 plus 4 is 9 and 3 3 6 plus 3 9 so 9 will be equal to 0 so totally we will be taking here 0 then friends 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 4 is 20 20 is nothing but 2 so I will write here 2 plus friends 4 3 7 2 9 9 will be equal to 0 now the total sum for this question is nothing but 7 3 plus 4 is 7 now we have to check which option is giving you digital sum as 7 so friends option 1 6 plus 4 is 10 15 16 plus 7 23 so digital sum will be 5 no I want digital sum as 7 then 6 3 is 18 18 plus 4 will be 22 plus 1 3 so again digital sum will not be 7 then friends 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 15 is 25 plus 1 26 digital sum will be 8 no then last one 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 14 will be 24 plus 1 25 25 is nothing but 2 plus 5 my digital sum will be 7 so option D will become the correct answer friends right now I am explaining you here step by step so it is taking more time but you could have done easily in seconds now friends question number 2 so we have to calculate 937 square now many of the students so as soon as they get the question they will start multiplying like this okay now so 937 okay if I calculate the digital sum see friends 9 9 will be equal to 0 3, 7 plus 3 will be 10 10 is nothing but 1 1 square will be 1 now check which option is giving you 1 that will be your answer so 9 you cancel okay so 9 will be equal to 0 so you cancel 8 plus 6 will be 14 and 14 plus 14 will be 28 so 28 means 1 so option A will be the correct answer okay friend you see 8 7 7 9 6 9 9 will be equal to 0 now friends 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 7 is 25 uh, 22 22 plus 6 will be 28 28 is digital sum will be 1 so option A will be the correct answer no need to check other options B C D so friends within seconds you are going to solve the problem question number three so friend question number three again we will be calculating the digital sum digital sum is nothing but sum of digits so if you are getting anything other than sum of I mean digits then you just need to ignore it so here we have decimal decimal we need to ignore it we just have to add only the digits now 9 will be equal to 0 then friends 7 plus 8 will be 15 15 plus 5 will be 20 20 is nothing but 2 so 2 is square minus 5 plus 4 will be 9 okay so 9 will be equal to 0 3 plus 3 is 6 6 square will be 36 see 3 plus 3 is 6 6 square will be 36 again 3 plus 6 will be 9 9 will be equal to 0 so here it will be nothing but 4 minus 0 is 4 now check which option is giving you digital sum as 4 option 1 5 plus 4 will be 9 3 plus 3 is 6 okay 6 plus 8 will be 14 14 plus 8 will be 22 22 is nothing but equal to 4 so option a will be the correct answer friends if you are planning to solve it by normal method then friends 78.95 into 78.95 friends you can only think how much time you will take to calculate this how much time you will take to calculate this and then you will be getting the difference so it will take minimum of five to six minutes to solve this problem you can try it out after this after watching this video now friends question number four so when question number four we are going to multiply one plus 20 into 21 into 22 into 23 friends if you are going to multiply this you can think how much time you are going to take so friends we will use the digital sum concept so this will be 2 2 plus 1 will be 3 2 plus 2 will be 4 2 plus 3 will be 5 so 1 plus 2 5 is 10 10 4 is 40 40 into 3 will be 120 so this will be 121 which is nothing but 4 which option is going to give you 4 that we have to see 441 square 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 9 is 0 so this option will not give you 
4 plus 5 is 9. 1 square will give you 1. I want a digital sum as 4. 4 plus 6 will be 10. 10 plus 1 will be 11. 11 is 2. 2 square will be 4. So option C will be the correct answer for the question number 4. Now friend, question number 5. So this is in terms of percentage. So we are going to solve percentage using digital sum. 88% of 370. So 8 plus 8 will be 16. 16 will be nothing but 7. 7 plus 3 will be 10. So into 1. Friends, percentage we have to ignore because digital sum will be only calculated for digits. Okay, not for percentage, not for decimals. 4 plus 2 will be 6. 6 into 3 will be 18. 18 is nothing but 9. Again, it will give you 0. Minus x will be equal to 8 plus 2 will be 10. So it will be 1. Now 7 minus x will be equal to 1. So x will become 6. Now check which option is giving you digital sum as 6. 8 plus 1 is 9. Digital sum will be 3. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 digital sum will be 7. Friends, 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 5 will be 15. 15 digital sum will be nothing but 6. So option D will be the correct answer. Now friends, I know there will be many questions will be there in your mind. What if more than one option is giving you the same digital sum? Okay. What if other kind of questions coming in simple compound interest and other topics, then how to use digital sum? What if this difference is negative? Friends, all these questions I will answer in the second part. So friends, if you really like the video, then please do comment. So friends, if we get the appreciation, if we get appreciated by you guys, definitely we will make more parts on this digital sum concept, which are which will definitely make your life very much easier by making the simplification very much easy. So friends, your like, comment and share is very much required so that we can come up with the next part of the digital sum. All our materials are now available on our websites. So you can click on this link. This link will be given in the description as well. And friends, you can see premium material. So videos material are there and the PDF materials are there. Now friends, if you will come down, you can see we have aptitude reasoning and coding material for all placement exam. You can watch the demo also. If you will click on this demo video, it will take you to the demo video link. Okay. Now, so friends, all the materials are now here. So get the material and start your preparation right now before it gets late. Thank you friends for watching the video.